Well, hello there. Welcome to our channel, my friend Bob. Uh, we discuss about gardening and many other things that I appreciate myself. So I typically say, be about and around with me. That said, uh, we will continue th this particular video. It's a continuation from a video that we started in April. The link is in the description. So what are we trying to do? We'll put one over here. One over here. Just to remind you, so in April, we st started our uh, potatoes. We did have one specific kind that we used, but then I also had some others sitting around the house as seed potatoes that I started. And we will see where we are right now. Uh, start in April, we, we are towards the end of July. Uh, I think we could have picked these potatoes uh, a week or two ago, but uh, nothing has changed. Uh, if you look at the pictures, the greens are dying down, but they're not totally dead. They're already yellowing. The flowering already happened a month or so ago. What we will try to show you is the technique that I'm trying. I tried that last year, made some mistakes. So I did get some potatoes, but the yield was not huge. So our hope is that we are very proud when we harvest these potatoes compared to last year. We will not try to hide anything from you. I have not tried to look underneath the soil, how the potatoes are doing. So it will be a surprise for all of us. And we will make sure that we do not try to cut anything where we think that we failed. Because that will be a learning lesson, not only for uh, ourselves, but you also, not to make the mistakes that, that we have made. My motto is, Making mistakes is not a big deal. That's part of learning. And gardening is all part of learning. It's, it's not a scientific endeavor as much as people sometimes think because they do think that if you write everything down and follow those steps, uh, you, you, you would be able to get the same kind of a crop next year, which you typically don't. Um, it's not like baking a cake. So let's do it. Let's check out uh, how we did with the potatoes. I was about to pick my potatoes. Look who we found. Bob came over. Hi all. And he did not uh, come empty handed and you'll see what he brought. So my garden is not doing as well as his is. As a good friend, he got me a few things. So since I have him over here, let's ask him what does he think where the potatoes are. And we'll make sure that he's the one who figures out the first ones. Well, don't feel bad about your garden not doing well. Mine's doing horrible. Tomatoes are very bad this year. Uh, peppers are slow. Zucchini and cukes, eh, not bad. But uh, everything else has been very, the tomatoes are just surprising. And now at the farm, the deer are hitting me really bad, even getting the hot peppers. At home, they haven't hit as much, but stuff isn't producing. So we're looking at the end of July and we should be doing good. Hopefully things get better in the next week. We were, we were supposed like end of July, we should be picking so much that when it comes to vegetables, we should not be going to grocery store. No, 4th of July, I think. <laughs> and right now we are going to grocery stores. But the weather's been hot, it's been cold, it's been wet, it's been dry. It's been all over the place. So so let's check are. Let's check the potatoes. Now these are potatoes we put in mid-April, I believe, wasn't yeah. it? Okay, mid-April. This is probably Yukon Gold. We did Yukon Gold. We did some blue, Adirondack blue. We right. did some... Uh, Red New Orleans, and I think you did one or two other copies. And you could see the foliage starting to decline. Could probably even go a little bit more, but it's not going to go much from here. And so Bob, simple, why, why should I have taken it out today, uh, right now? Taking it out? You could have let it sit and let it yellow up a little bit more. What would I gain from it? I, well, like I said, it's yellowing probably not much. Okay. And the only thing, if we start getting real wet weather, then the potatoes could rot a little bit, but they usually don't rot because of the containers. That's one good thing with the containers. Excellent. So let's do it. All right. So you can see. So Bob is turning it around. Everybody, the world. Here we go. We, we will know right now. See what we got. I see a red. Nice little red, Norlin red potatoes. Ah, and there's an Adirondack blue. You mixed them up on me. The size is a bit small, Bob. Why? Um, might need a little bit more superphosphate or something in the soil. 
and it's just been such a wacky year. I don't think they're going to produce as so well. So if we were supposed to give it some kind of uh, fertilizer, what, what should have been done? Uh, something higher in the root, uh, the middle number, uh, superphosphate, 5105, maybe even a little 5105. Or if you could find an organic with that one to one ratio, that's usually the best for most garden plants. They're small, but still good. And actually, you yeah, know, would have liked to see them a little bit better. But at least we found some. Okay, let's do one more. Okay. What do you think? Which one? Let's try. So guys, everybody, we're just playing a game. And again, Bob just came over and I told you up front, if we fail or if we don't, we will show you exactly where it is. Again, so, no trick. No trick. Just put it on and let's see what we got. I didn't mean to do that. I did, but I, I shouldn't have done that. This looks like Yukon gold. And not a lot. Well, see, there's still a few more setting up. So I say we leave the rest for another week. Can we put it back in the soil from here or just we try. compost? We got the soil. We got a pot. So we can, we can do it? Let's try it. Yeah. We don't know. We'll just have to keep this one separate and see if anything happens. So I'm putting the soil in. Do it this way. So no amendments, Bob. Do we need amendments? Should we put some fertilizer? Not at this point, because I think it's, this is really a test. Okay. Uh, although I guess it wouldn't hurt if you had some, even miracle grow like a water soluble. It'd be too late for an organic. I know you'd like to use the organic, but it would be too late for an organic to use. So we're just going to get that, try to get the same level, refill it. Soil's a little dry. Hopefully we get a little rain later on. They say maybe five o'clock. So as Bob does that, let's check. Uh, not too much, but still, there's a couple dinners there. We, we already have, and we, like a few dinners, as Bob said, and I'll show you later, because Bob didn't have enough time. He, he, he's just being polite for us. I asked him, can he stay over for a few minutes? So he did. I'll finish these and I'll show you on, on camera. And we'll see how much potatoes we got. Well, not bad. Figured still, you probably got another month or so. Hopefully these will do still a little growing or at least another week or so. But I like the mix. You know, I did mine and all in, in the same containers. But uh, they look good. Now, Bob, from here, they should sit outside, inside. What's no, the you want to get them out of the sun. Put them where it's cool. Doesn't have to be refrigerator, but you do. You want it cool to store them. So right now, garage will be fine. I think your garage will be fine. Uh, and garage, um, still like uh, garage will get like seventy degrees. If it gets, if we get another spell where it's in the nineties, maybe move them into your basement. You know, do something like that where it might be a little cooler. Okay. So I'll put it in something and I'll move it to my garage. That sounded good. Thank you so much. You're not going to eat any tonight. Not tonight. Okay. Thank you. Well, a few of these. So let's let's try to get all of them and see how we go. The start was decent, not extraordinary, but let's see. This one only seems like it has one plant only. The small one, Yukon Gold, a bigger one, but still check the size, looking at this, like they're not too big. But you know what, when you grow it at home, Big or small doesn't make a difference. They are still delicious. Let's do a few more. This one does seem to have a few plants. So let's let's be a bit hopeful. One, two, three. Let's do one more check. Before I pick another one, let me start filling these pots again. We are in July, almost start of August. From here, my fall planting will start. I'm filling the, the, the soil back in here. It's still good soil. I might add some amendments like uh, some uh, fertilizer to it. And 
in a week or so start my fall plants. Okay, so we are done with uh, picking all the potatoes. Uh, the yield is much better than last year, actually even the year before, but still uh, not to the satisfaction that I was looking for. Well, that said, still it's better than having nothing. Before I show the, you the potatoes, uh, one thing uh, I did was I also planted some of, uh, of the roots back, which had really small potatoes, hoping that I might get something in fall. So altogether, I've done, I think, 10 containers I was able to do uh, after pulling whatever I could. These are the empty ones. So again, not too bad. So let's have a look. This is what we were able to get. What you see over here, some of these potatoes, they have, they have some bite marks. I don't think they're bad, but they will be the ones which will be eaten first. Now to just give an idea how much, if you look at my hand, you can tell what we have sitting over here. I will say surely more than uh, five pounds, if not more. I don't have a big, bigger weighing scale to tell you exactly how much it is. So this was our yield, our potatoes, and hoping in another few months in this area, we get some more. As we wrap up this episode, uh, let me remind you, now is the right time to start uh, your seeds for your fall plants. Uh, be in uh, modules, be straight in the ground or in your raised gardens. I will start, start my modules uh, shortly. I will also uh, plant some of the, I will also put some of the seeds direct in, in the soil so in the next week or so. So really end of July, start of August, you can start with your fall plants. All this said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe. See you soon again with a new episode. Thank you so much. Goodbye.